Mark Cuban, the billionaire entrepreneur and investor, sold his video streaming company, Broadcast.com, to Yahoo in 1999 for approximately $5.7 billion in Yahoo stock. To protect his stock options during the acquisition, Cuban utilized a financial instrument known as a collar or zero-cost collar. A zero-cost collar involves purchasing a put option to protect against downside risk while simultaneously selling a call option to offset the cost of the put option. This strategy effectively limits the potential loss on the stock position while also capping the potential gain. In Cuban's case, he likely purchased put options on Yahoo stock to protect against a decline in its value after the acquisition. By doing so, he locked in a minimum value for his Yahoo stock holdings. To offset the cost of purchasing the put options, he may have sold call options on his Yahoo stock, which would limit his potential upside but also reduce the overall cost of the hedging strategy. By employing a caller strategy, Mark Cuban was able to protect his stock options and minimize his risk exposure while still participating in the potential upside of the Yahoo stock he received as part of the acquisition deal. This allowed him to preserve the value of his investment in the event of a decline in Yahoo stock price following the acquisition.